Okay, hello uh, everyone. This is the American Contractor, December 25th, 2015 again. Hope you join the videos I've been putting out to today, and hope everybody's having a great day. This is an article here. Actually, it's a report. It's from the Emir Emirates uh, NBD, which is the uh, biggest bank in Dubai in the Middle East. And it talks about MENA devaluation risks. And it talks about different banks, different uh, emerging markets, uh, like Jordan, Libya. Even says here or here, if you see right here, IQD, uh, Rocky Dinar. So let's scroll down. I just want to show you that that the devaluation of the Iraqi dinar in December, which happened a few weeks ago or last week, uh, was already been known about in the, in the region. So let's uh, scroll down here, page three, right here. Uh, the Iraqi dinar's U.S. dollar peg is most at risk for potential devaluation. Although our base case says the current exchange rate regimes remaining in place with increased debt issuance and cutbacks to government spending likely to alleviate pressures in H2. Moreover, a recent article, Chapter 4, report by the IMF, International Monetary Fund, highlighted how policymakers were committed to maintaining the peg as it had provided a key anchor in a highly uncertain environment with weak policy capacity. The fund also noted how greater exchange rate flexibility would provide little benefit to such an oil-dependent economy as FX, if you see the FX currency, uh, foreign currency reserves, denominated government spending and dollarization in certain sectors would limit import compression and simply create pressure to adjust public sector wages through increased transfers. Now I bring this up to show you that there was already reports about the devaluation and I was talking about it, but everybody said that it couldn't happen and it did in December. You even have the deputy director, which I put on the Twitter account, said that, hey, we're not going to devaluate the Iraqi dinar. That was back in August. And uh, come to find out it's not true. That they did devalue their currency. And it's more just coming because they cannot uh, keep up with the budget that is coming up on Iraq. They owe more money than, it's more mo than the money that's coming into the country. So... This is another uh, report from the, like I said, it's the Emirates NBD. Um, hope you have any questions. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a like. Make some comments. Create some comments down there below the video. Meaning devaluation risk and uh, Rocky Dinar was one of them. Thank you for watching.